What's your name? John. And mm. I write him. What is good, YouTube? Adam over here from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. Today is gonna be a total different video and it's gonna be fun. And it's gonna be about antiques. So let me show you what we got going on today. So we got these miniature painting, the two paintings, they're very old. They're apparently, they're or original paintings on bone and they're about 200 years old, even more from the 1700s, could be as early as 1700s. So I bought these at an auction for a few bucks. I have them for sale. So here is my Etsy listing right now. This is just preview because this listing is not live anymore. It was live and the pictures were nice. Sli glued to the frame, but one picture fell off. So now I gotta update this listing. I listed them and I hung them on the wall. And one day, maybe a week or two later, I noticed that this little fellow got loose. So I think we need to break this glass solid hammer and we're gonna smash it and break it and fix it. And then we're gonna look at this under the microscope. What's your name? John. And I write him. We can go from the back, but then I will destroy all this nice paper framing work here. And I write him. And you're gonna have to hit right here with the hammer. So hey, wait, wait. Oh, wow. So hit right here. Harder. Harder. <laughs> Stop, let's see. Did it break? No break. Now we have a new setup, a small piece of cardboard, and you're gonna hit where the leaves are, okay? With the hammer. Hey, Lightly. Oh, stop. Maybe it should break? <laughs> Didn't break it. Let's yeah. Hit it. Okay, stop. A punch. Yeah, and so we got, the end. We got a punch and we're gonna try to punch the glass out with the punch. So So we will use a hammer also, right? Yeah hammer. So I want to do the hammer. Okay, lightly hit the punch. Watch my fingers. Oh, it's not going. What oh. kind of glass is this? Bulletproof glass. What happened? We broke the frame. I was punching out the glass and this didn't even didn't even break, it just scratched. I think it's bulletproof. Uh, we're just gonna take the frame out. Mm. And we have the two pieces right here. And that will work too. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's look at this under the microscope. See the details. Uh, not in front of the glass. So we're gonna look at them through microscope. You can be very close on the phone. You can zoom in and you can see very nice details. I use the phone when I look at art in the wild and to make sure if it's an original or a print. So here you can even see there's no dots. It is all original, but we're gonna even look closer. And this one says it can go from zero times to 1000 times X. We're gonna look at this at 1000 times magnifying. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in here. So we have the prince's eye. That's his eye here. We go down, that's... That's his nose and the beard. And we are gonna go just up to the crown. Oh, look at that. Gold flake, 24 carat. <laughs> gold, gold in the paint. I wouldn't have known this if I haven't looked this close. And the silver, the white stuff looks like mother of pearl too. That's the crown, lots of gold flake on it. And even more here. Look at that silver shine. Black red rubies this is all paint very nice quality paint 
Okay, let's go down. Close, close up. That's the clothing, the yellow and the colors. Oh, more flake here on the clothing. And now we're gonna look at the princess. So that's her eye right here. And now we're gonna go to her second eye. I wanna look at under her. That's the nose. It's also like a smudge, but that's, I think, shadow, how it's painted. And here is the chin, and the chin looked like it had a smudge too, but again, it's the same idea, this gray area. That's the chin, and that might be just how it's painted to show the shadows. And let's go down to the clothing. Colors, colors, yellow. And blue oh I see some sparkle here too some gold gold flake over here as well 24 carat on the clothing oh mother load <laughs> look at all the gold gold flake so that's yeah these are the pictures looking through the telescope just gonna turn it around and look at the back oh, and you can see all the glue here Oh, very detailed glue. So when looking at the bone, I can see straight lines. No really zigzags. Looks like ice skating ring, it just scratches. So that's the texture on the bone. So that might give me more information what kind of bone this is. The listing that's updated with the new format. We don't have the frame anymore, only the pictures. So delete everything from here. We're gonna add new photos. Uh, I took some photos just now. These are okay, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. With the size. The last picture is the location, B6. Just so I use it in the title. Antique miniature paintings on bone. Ah, uh, we don't have them framed anymore. Remove the framed. Emperor and Empress, that's dynasty. And B6 for the location, 1800, so that's the new title. Uh, height, we have to change this, uh, so we will be like approximately 1.5 and height will be 2.5. Just to let people know they're very small. This doesn't make sense anymore. Uh, because you can't really hang it and it's not framed framed unframed and they're vertical <laughs> that all has changed okay original paintings no prints no need to mention the frame rare find uh, yes and then size and condition and these are the keywords, nothing about the frame. $7.99, we're gonna drop the price down, half price now, no frame, $3.99, and I have a sale going on. This will change too, we're gonna be under 250 grams, even less, but that's the lowest, or we can go letter mail, but I wanna ship them with tracking. And we're gonna publish this listing, and we are done. The antique miniature paintings are back for sale. Cheers. Thank you all for watching. It's Adam from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com, and you'll see me in the next video. Peace.